So I'm here with the uh, Fanatic Shaper, Sebastian Wenzel. We've also got our World Cup Wave Sailors. We've got Klaas and Victor here as well. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at the quad. So Sebastian, tell me a little bit more about this shape. Yes, this shape remains unchanged from uh, the previous season. It's a beautiful board. We updated the graphics though. Came out really nice, I think. You see the Carbon Negra fiber on the deck. Um, as the name says, it's a quad setup. We have a very cool bottom shape here with very slight contours. You see there's a slight concave with a little bit of double inside, rolling all the way back through the fins, finishing off nicely, pretty flat tail release here. All that in a compact outline and a pretty neutral rocker. We didn't put too much tail curve in there, so you have a, quite a bit of performance in there. And, uh, a little bit of nose flip, so you're sure that when you come off the top turn, your nose doesn't catch. So Sebastian, what kind of waves is this board really designed to excel in? Well, this is our most radical wave board in the range. We have the tri-wave and the free wave as well. But this is really if you want to go for the most radical conditions like the boys here ripping in Hokipa, South Africa. This is where this board really rips. But on a good day in any spot, it'll work. Yeah. I mean, class. I noticed you were using it a lot throughout of last year, even in the onshore events as well. Yeah, I've been using it in Tidmal as well. Um, I loved it in the down the line stuff. It's a really uh, clean rocker line that allows you the perfect carve. Um, but I also use it in, uh, in Klitmüller. It's radical, you can put it vertical and it has through the concaves, there's a lot of drive in the bottom turns. And uh, you can do all the latest, uh, latest moves you can do on the wave. And uh, it's also fast enough for the jumping stuff. Yeah. I mean, Victor, I've seen you as well shredding on this board at Hookeeper. Uh, maybe yeah. a little bit of input into how you have your fins set up and the positions that you're using. Well, yeah, I, I use this board at Hookeeper as well in Pozo, Tenerife, uh, Glidmuller, uh, Chile a lot. Uh, yeah, the, the fin setup is pretty much, it's not as it is now on the board. I use it a little bit farther apart, like two, two and a half fingers from each other. Okay. And it will give you like a better planing less slidey and uh, yeah i think the board itself is pretty much good for every conditions yeah okipa poso tenerife uh, even on seed we use it sometimes so as an all-round um, board sales yeah. for my wakeboard next year maybe i can just get a quad 82. To yeah if you all travel all around the world yeah. i think the quad is it's a good setup board. so class it looks like you got some new fins in the board this year yeah we have a new very fast um and turny fin setup um the basic fin position that we start and that's suitable for most riders and most con conditions is the middle position of all four fin boxes. From there you can move them slightly forward for getting a bit more turning out of the board or slightly back to get a bit more planing stability. And uh, that's the, the positions you should, uh, you should try out when you use that board because that makes a lot of difference in the turning of yeah. the board. Okay. And how about like who do you think this board's really suited for? This is the most radical wave board in the line and uh, it's suited for the more advanced wave sailors okay. who uh, want to get uh, the maximum out of their board, who do some more radical turns and who uh, not only sail their uh, average wave spot also every now and then in a pretty good wave and that's the board for those kind of uh, wave, wave sailor. Okay, so maybe guys uh a bit less experience should maybe be looking more towards the tri-wave if they're sailing in a lot of onshore the tri-wave is the more forgiving board it's the board that uh, gives you a little bit earlier planing and uh, it's maybe not quite as radical as the quad but gets close to the quad in the turning but it's just a bit more easy easy going board okay and victor what events do you plan on using this the quad out this year well, as class mentioned it's the most radical board on our range yeah so i plan to use this board like more in chile or hawaii yeah uh, and then i plan to use the tri wave more in unsure conditions because it's a little bit faster and yeah. i can get a little bit more projection on the jumps and on the quad okay so this is a little bit of a difference yeah also. makes sense yeah perfect yeah.